Hello everyone, my name is Sami from ERP Hub. Today I will be going over how to create your first journey on Zoho Marketing Automation. With the Journey Builder, create a unique plan for all of your leads. Nurture them and give them every reason to choose you. Let's get started. After you've logged into the system, let's go to the Journeys tab and learn a little more about it. If you click on this tab, you have all journeys, journey reports, and journey templates. If you click on all journeys, you can find more information on the elements of a journey. You can navigate through the tutorial to understand more about this process. Under the reports tab, you will be able to view the reports once you've activated your journey. If you click on the specific journey, you can view version-based reports, detailed reports, and action-based reports. And under templates, you can create new templates to be used for your journeys. To create a new journey, you would click on the all journeys tab and then click Create Journey. When you create a new journey, you can start off with a blank slate, use a pre-built template, or even a saved template. Let's start off with a pre-built template. If you scroll through the sticks page, you can view various different types of templates for different uses. For this video, we will be using a simple template. Next, you'll be taken to this Journey Builder page and on this left side, you can view this action bar where we can add various different types of triggers, processes, and end of journey actions. And on the right side, you can view the journey itself. And they are color coordinated each section. The triggers are blue, the processes are orange, and the end of journey actions are green. And this just gives us an idea of what is happening on our journey. You can see that on a form submission, we can select the form. And every time a form is submitted, we can add a process where we can add a message and even set a delay. And after that process is complete, we can add an end of journey action. In this case, we are pushing the data onto the CRM two hours after our process is complete. And the process is triggered one day after the form has been submitted. When you configure the signup form on this section here, could choose a form on the lead generation stage. However, for this case, we will not be needing this because we only want this process to execute for on-list entries. So you can delete this section by hovering over it and clicking on this delete icon. Next, we want to click on select list here. We can select the list and anytime a new lead comes into this list, they will have to go through this process. Also, if you check this section here, then all of the leads in your list are going to be going through this journey as well. We don't need that for now, so you can just click on done for now after you've selected your mailing list. Next, we are on the process section, but it's important to note before that we cannot connect the trigger with the end of journey action. It must be connected to this process section first. Now on the process section, if you click on here, you can select a delay for when the message should be sent. And if you click on add content, this is where we will fill in most of the message. So here you can start off by filling out all the basic information. For next. And for this section, I'll be using a pre-designed template for the content. And here you can further customize your template to how you want it to look. And once you're done with that, you can just click on next. Next again. And then save and proceed. You can add further customization options here if you want. But we will just click on save and proceed for now. With that, we are done configuring our trigger in our process. After you're done configuring your message, you're going to see this exclamation point telling you to send this message for review. You can do that by clicking on this button here, and this will be required before you move on to the last section of your journey. Here you can see that there's a two hour delay set to when the data will be pushed onto the CRM. 
And if you click on this configure section here, you'll have the option to push the data of both existing and new leads to the CRM or just the existing leads onto the CRM. We'll choose the first option here and then click on map fields. Choose the account and the module that you would like to push. And then map the fields that you would like. Here you can add more fields. And if you would like to remove them, you can also click on this minus icon. And once you're done with that, you can click on save. And done. If you look through the end of journey actions, you can find that there are way more actions that you can configure. You can assign and remove tags, add and remove stuff from your list, update fields, push stuff to the CRM as we're doing here, or even move to another journey. There are a lot of options that you can use to help automate your business. I suggest going through each of the triggers, processes, and end of journey actions and understanding how each of them operate. That was just a brief overview on how journeys work on Zoho Marketing Automation. For more information and insights on Zoho, please subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time.